I like using a boat shuttle when I'm weaving. This is the Shaft Open Bottom Slim Boat Shuttle. I find it works really well even when I'm using a pickup stick pattern. In order to use a boat shuttle though, you need to wind a bobbin. So I'm gonna show you how I use my drill to wind a bobbin. So first thing is I've got my mohair on a swift here. So the mohair is what I'm using for my weft in this particular project. I've got it on a swift. It comes in a skein. Many people will ball it before they wind it um, onto, a, onto a bobbin. I just do it straight from the skein. I like skipping steps. So I have a drill bit in here that I have wrapped with paper and tape so that my bobbin fits firmly on there. I'm going to grab the end of my mohair and I'm going to wrap it on by hand just to start. That just holds it on so that when I start winding, it's, uh, it's going to stay on. When I wind, I keep my hands closed around the yarn. Um, I'm quite afraid of sometimes getting the yarn wrapped around my finger and I mean that would be really serious. I could lose a finger, especially if it was cotton. So I, I keep my hands closed over it so that it can't wrap around any of my fingers. And then I just start winding. And I'm just moving my hands back and forth along the bobbin so that everything winds on nice and evenly. Many people are afraid of using mohair. They're afraid that it's really sticky, that it's not going to wind well, that they're going to have a terrible time with it. I don't have any trouble with mohair at all. Um, every so often it gets caught on my switch and I just have to stop my drill and unstick it. But as you can see, it's winding off really, really easily. So I'm just going to wind this bobbin until it's full and then I'm going to snip and it'll be ready to go. I don't think it holds quite as much as a stick shuttle. I can put more on my stick shuttle. But this is faster and easier for weaving. My bobbin worked its way a little loose here. Just loosen up the, or tighten up the bobbin here and keep winding. You can see that my bobbin is, is quite full. I'm going to fill it right up as much as I can. going to take it off. I'm going to snip it. This is really firm. Uh, it doesn't, it, you know, you can see the whites of my fingers here as I'm pressing in. I keep my bobbins nice and tight. The tighter it is, the more you can fit on there. You can just slip it on. And there we are, we're ready, we're ready to weave. That is how